let's talk technology. Um, I don't really have much of a setup going on right now, just because we do have to move houses every four months per term. Although this house I'm staying in, I'm staying in for eight months, but yeah, just as students, we have to move around a lot. So I don't have a solid setup. It's just the laptop, two monitors, and um, I have plug-in speakers there. For my peripherals, I have a Royal Kludge RK61, and I also have my vertical mouse. Uh, really helps with everything we do in architecture too, because I do know a couple people who have been hurting because they've been using their mouse for too long, and it's just simple button mechanics. So get yourself a vertical mouse, and uh, it will improve your time spent on your laptop you, so much more. Anyways, so this is actually not the original laptop that we unboxed in the last video. Dell actually sent me a new one. So the one I had previously was running Intel Core i7. This one's now Intel Core i9. So what they did is they contacted me, they were like, hey, would you like an i9 laptop? I was like, yeah, for sure. And I sent back my old i7 laptop and they sent me the i9 laptop. So everything's still the same in regards to all the functions. This one's still the normal keyboard. It's not the mechanical one. But everything is definitely a lot smoother, I feel. Uh, when it comes to running high CPU usage programs, of course, and that's because the i9 does have that tap bit more power. It also means the fans do kick in a little bit more, but honestly, the quad fans on here are amazing. It's pretty unnoticeable if you have headphones in. Um, and sometimes even I, I have my speakers on and I hardly notice the fans. So if we go into the defaulting fan profiles, You can see there's balanced, quiet, full speed, battery saver, and performance. Performance is supposed to be loud. It is not loud. I basically, by default, have it on performance mode, just for the sake of it, and it's been amazing. It's been great. It's been wonderful. Battery is not that bad, actually, with the i9. So, I have it plugged in right now, but when I do have it unplugged, it lasts for the good four hours that it's supposed to. And that's pretty good for a gaming laptop. Now, as you can see here, I am running Windows 11. Windows 11, I love it way better than Windows 10 because now we actually have an automatically centered taskbar, so I don't have to manually go do that myself. And for me, it's just a better user experience, um, especially with this new command or home bar here. Talking about programs now. So the main programs that we use in architecture, and what I'm going to do is zoom in a bit here. We have Photoshop, Illustrator, Rhino, and personally, I am going to start learning Lumion and Blender. Most of the time, we don't even talk about any other programs, like for my class, now and I've talked to some upper years, they don't really use Lumion, but it is good for the professional workplace, so I decided, you know what, we'll benchmark that anyways, like why not? So Photoshop runs great. Um, this is Photoshop 2022, is the newest one, newest updated one, and it opens my files up quite well. So even if I just opened up this one per se, this was my final layout for my architecture final project, first term. Everything is great. Like, I know this is just a single layer one right now because I only saved this as a merged one. Um, we needed to merge and flatten it in order for the plotter to plot out properly. But when I had my 20 gajillion layers here, the laptop was still functioning really well. This is actually a really big work plane. Um, it looks quite small but it is actually quite big. So I, I know my old laptop, this would definitely start lagging and the computer would start heating up like crazy, but the Alienware has handled it beautifully. Now we're going to talk about Illustrator real quick. This again is Illustrator 2022, it's the latest one. And 
and this is where I do most of my vector work on, like we're supposed to do it in Rhino. Um, this is a, a little personal project I'm doing right now, there's like a site and everything. But I use this for my vectors instead of Rhino, because personally I like the learning curve of Illustrator more. I've been using it for about two years before I came into this program, so I'm very familiar with it. And line weighting is so much easier in here. I just find everything organizationally is so much easier in Illustrator, so I keep everything in there. Let me see if I can pull up any files here. This is an archived work, but for, like the examples that we do in Photoshop would be these like collages. And I'll, I'll throw them up on the um, actual video screen. However, so when you open the file, you can see that... Alright, so I have an Illustrator file here. You can see that you can actually open it in Illustrator or Rhino uh, because it is vector. So in Rhino, you can always export to Illustrator as well. So I guess that's why a lot of people like using Rhino. I just really don't like the entire organizational layout of Rhino and everything there. So this is my Illustrator. This is what we would do for a project. So you have your sections, you have your plans, you'd have everything, you'd have your elevation. So all this is done in Illustrator. It's a pretty big file because we do go into quite some detail. Like this is a gym layout, but yeah, you do go into quite some detail and there's a lot of things going on. As you can see, there's a lot of layers and organizational things. But Illustrator also handles beautifully on here, or I should say, the laptop handles beautifully on here. And I don't need to keep it plugged in really. Um, sometimes I do leave it unplugged for a while just because it's good for battery health. And um, yeah, so that's Photoshop and Illustrator. Those run pretty good. Now we're going to do the Lumion benchmark before I head into Rhino because Rhino is pretty self-explanatory and I don't have any Rhino files to show off. Um, so we'll let this load. The thing with Lumion is that it is very extensive in the demands that it has. And just to recap, this laptop is running a 3070 GPU. So here are the benchmarks that I ran uh, a couple days ago. And you can see that the system memory and the graphics memory is hitting just recommended. Um, this laptop def definitely surpasses minimal, which is good. However, I would like it to go even more. You can see that i9 runs amazingly well, maximum. Graphics card is pretty good. Graphics memory and system memory we can improve on, but this is already a pretty intense laptop. I would say for if you want your benchmarks to go even higher, Go desktop. Don't ever run your laptop like that. So um, this is Lumion 12 Pro. This is the student edition, but um, they all should benchmark the same. So let me just quit here and we will head into Rhino. So here we have Rhino booting up and you got all your templates here and everything. Oh, there's an update. I won't update it yet right now for the video. So. Something odd for Rhino is that the GE Force, like the game overlay, starts when you run Rhino, but I don't know why, but it does. Um, so you have everything in Rhino, and in first year architecture, you only work from top view, and you draw your lines, and you do vector diagrams, and everything's 2D. But um, honestly, doing anything 3D in Rhino is actually pretty nice. So if I just quickly, because I went and learned this by myself over break, since why not? I'll just go learn things by yourself. Like, don't ever wait until class tells you to learn something for you to go do something. It's also really self-explanatory. Anyways, let's say I have a shape like this. I will head into perspective mode. And we'll go into the different views. So shaded is mostly what people work in. And then rendered. Rendered pulled off pretty well, and the fan has not kicked in too hard yet. The fan is still nice and quiet, and the temperature is still nice and cool. So, rendered pretty nice. Ghosted works well. X-ray. Technical. So 
here's the technical drawing. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Artistic. I don't really get the point of artistic. But I guess, sure. Um, I really don't get it. Like, you can use it, but why not just... Oh, anyways. Enough about that. This pen. Arctic is more... I feel like this is like on the border between ray traced and render. But I think what everyone wants to see is ray trace. And ray trace, honestly, is not bad. It's not bad. And we'll let it render. We'll let it load and render for a second. But just let me zoom in here. There we go. And ray trace, like the fans, don't kick it. It's getting to be a little bit hot. But other than that, like the computer is pulling it off really well. So, I mean, this is a simple file, but even like with these simple things, like some laptops will start screaming. This laptop is handling it very well. So, that's that. And that's about all there is to it. So, You can see me on the other screen there. This is the Alienware X15 R1. This is my laptop. This was my choice for architecture school. I do not regret it at all. However, I've heard some people have issues in regards to the keyboard not working or the fans being aggressively loud. And my recommendation is to update your BIOS because Dell is kind of terrible at BIOS updates and if you manually go do that yourself basically all your problems will be solved. So this was the really quick update video. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time.